<laughs> how you, how you stay, bro? Huh? Come inside, come inside the house over here. <laughs> you always welcome over here at my house. Eh? We are friends over here in Hawaii. <laughs> so later on, maybe we go eat some fish, like that. Eh? So you know, you, you get time for stay or what? Oh, good, 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 good. You know, I was reading in the paper the other day, this guy said the Hawaii was the melting pot of the Pacific. Eh? I had thoughts about that. I think Hawaii is more like one salad bowl of the Pacific. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because you get one guy uh, tomato, one guy lettuce, one guy is the celery. They all inside inside the pot together, but they're all different, you know. Me, I live in proof of the people over here in Hawaii. You know what my nationality is, eh? Yeah? Well, just by looking, what you think? Eh? Yeah? Yeah, I tell you. Me, a Hawaii, a Chinese, a Japanese, a Portuguese, a, a Hawaii. Me, I get Puerto Rican, I get Spanish, or oh, I get all jam on my pizza, boom, 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 all of them inside of me. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I got part Chinese in me. I'm proud of that. You know, everything around the world came from China. Yeah, gunpowder, noodles, the black shoes with the silver buckle, hair net. Hey, I tell you. The pocket is even invented small money. You know why the pocket is even small money? I tell you, they would invent that small money so they could hide them all over the body. So when they was walking around, no one could see the money, they wouldn't get ripped off. They put a quarter here, dime here, a couple of nickels in the nose, a couple of pennies in the back of the head. That's how come they walk and talk the way they do. Oh my god, Pahai, she can hide me. That's how her pockets always get changed. You ask them, you get changed? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get part Japanese too. You know, there's the thing about the Japanese. Everything Japanese, small, small. You know, it's like we get koa trees, sequoia trees. Japanese get banzai trees. <laughs> we eat steak. Big, deep, namasu, eh? Yeah, me a Filipino too. You know it's all the Filipino names. To me, the Filipino names sound like bells ringing. Yeah, tomimbang, makadeng deng, salang sing, salang sing, bagong. You know that all the Filipino names to me sound like fish falling into tapioca pudding. Yeah? Malapit. Salamat. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. Hey, and if you know my Portuguese friend, go out and find one. They write on. They're the best conversationalist in the world. Check me out. Hey, bro, take a Portuguese person home, feed them. They talk to you forever. Hey, Portuguese people, hey, right to the point. No matter how long it takes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but me, you know, I'll mix them up. I figure if a Japanese person married a Portuguese person, the baby would be Hapa. Huh? Pretty good looking, but not just Japanese, eh? not just Portuguese. The baby going to be Japanese. Yeah, Japanese people, you can tell them anywhere. Japanese people act Japanese, act Portuguese at the same time. Japanese people love malasaris with the ume isai. <laughs> they got a lot to say, eh? but they don't like talking about it. <laughs> Japapinos too, you know. Japapino, half Japanese, half Filipino. <sighs> they get this unique theater art form called kabukbuki. <laughs> they love, love go library, library, take out, take out one book, book. Oh, yeah. I tell you, oh, mix them up over here. So you got time? Stick around like that? Oh, that's terrific. I got some stories to tell you, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe what you want here. So I tell you, I'm glad you came. That's for sure.
Come over here, come, 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 come. Cow, cow time, you guys. Cow, cow time, come over here. <sighs> you know what they call all these chickens over here one place? Huh? Plenty chicken. <laughs> uh, so what was we talking about, huh? Uh, how about it, huh? Uh, my, look this little girl. Uh, you know what is the best thing about Hawaii, huh? Try guess. You guess. <laughs> uh, some people. That's right, there's us folks over here. <laughs> uh, people over here, Hawaii, been over here. Long time. Long time. Ever since ancient time. Ever since the ancient hula. Go for it! Chajam Tila! Halava lava aka hule hule chicken. Kurang you ala zaka puka puka pants. Coconut o kamana pua pakalolo. O kazu namasui then sing kachi kach. Coop TV. Kini no take a mochi crunch palama puho. Three quarter lin makaha kama boko t shirt. Chicken ado puaku roll and chew that two sticks. Stimulet baga on lao halamet and be yo. Seventeen billion teen. Oh, he na lea o manini kachamiram. Cruise Kalakawa in the 57 Chevy. One big fat cockroach go hit him with a sleeper. Halava lava aka hule hule chicken. Kurang you ala zaka puka puka pants. Coconut okama na pua pakalolo. Okazu na masui then zinga chikach. That's it. Garin's barbarian. That's the hall. Oh, po! Hello, 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 chicken. Oh, the nice that I want. <laughs> oh, those were the good old days. Eh? Oh, nowadays, we have to work hard for a living, eh? not just do the hula. <laughs> Even our wahines got to work hard, work, work, work. <laughs> I gotta tell you about this one, Vaini, I saw on top of the airplane. <laughs> Crack me up. <laughs> What's this airline story, this? Oh, wow, Blaze! I picked it up. <laughs> oh, the pilot was getting a little radical. Welcome aboard Mahalo Airlines, flight 513 to Wailuku, Hana, and Budapest. You may unfasten your safety belts at this time. We do ask, however, that you observe the no smoking sign to minimize the chances of blowing up while in the air. Our flight today is under the command of Captain Blaze Kamakazi Robello. At this time, our lovely stewardess says is, would like to acquaint you all with the safety features on board the 777, just in case we run out of luck. <laughs> I was just joking. There are four emergency exits on board the 777. Two is located at the front of the cockpit. The other two is located at the rear of the cockpit. For your safety, a package of party balloons is available directly underneath your seats. So, in case we plummet headlong into the raging surf below, simply blow up your balloon, tie them with string, and fasten them to your arms. Like so, okay? We have about 10 minutes before we hit the Wailuku, so a little bit of airplane humor. There was these two Portuguese pilots driving a plane, much like ours, coming in for a landing. The head pilot comes down to the runway and stops abruptly and says, my, this is the shortest runway I have ever seen. And the co-pilot said, yeah, and look how wide. <laughs> you should have been there. <clears throat> we will be arriving in Wailuku fairly shortly, and we do hope your stay is enjoyable, memorable, 
and totally unaffected by the recent hotel murders which have occurred on the island. So on behalf of Mahalo Airlines and everyone, Mahalo and thank you for flying. Mahalo Airlines. Mahalo. Mario, on stand right on our takes on LA trips, eh? <laughs> One other thing, you know, that make Hawaii so no kawaii is the aloha. It's the love of this land, it's the love of this island and people. Mana, my spirit. You know, local people get a lot of spirit. I go to church every Sunday, go listen to the preacher. I love to hear him talk. Oh, dear friends. We are g -g 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 gathered here today to give the thanks for the many 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 blessings which we have received. Some holy guy in the in the in the in the Bible once said, "Me." A joyful sir, make a j make a j make a j make a j joyful sound. Let us make each new day a new a new a new a new a new a new promise to live life to the fullest. And may we achieve, 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 may we achieve the final bliss. When we did do, 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 when we did when we did do, when we kick the baboo, kick, kick the baboo, kick the baboo, kick, kick the, kick the baboo, bite the do, bite the do, bite the do, bite the, O D. And now, will you all please join with me, with me, with me, with me, me, in 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 prayer? May the good, may the good, may the good, may the goodness and the good mercy shine down on us from above, from above, from above, from above. May our hearts be filled with kindness and love. Amen. Funny kind people, eh? <laughs> But I tell you something, no matter how crazy the people are over here, we all get one thing in common. We love this land. Mm, I love the Green Valley. We must stay over here. Green Valley, river, beaches. Eh, we got the best beaches in our world. Guarantee when you go to the beach, first thing you're going to see is <laughs> I wrote this song about an hour before I had massive brain damage, and I'd like to do it for you now. This is a story about the day I died. Body surfing point panic and got caught in the tide. Swept 500 miles out to sea. It took the Coast Guard four days to find me. Oh, I'm sorry, but I said I was deaf here. I never like listening. Now I stay queens 
in Kritako condition. My friend Bernard came in and said, We stop mocking. I thought you was dead. I said, Bernard, do a favor for me. Give my aloha to the people you see, but especially tell fate your nagi I love her. Tell fate your nagi I need her. Tell fate your nagi no go cry and no go out with Mitsunai. Tell Barry Santos, I'm sorry, I ding this ball, but no worry, no worry. I get can resin underneath my bed, and he can have them when I'm dead. Point Panic was unreal, 90 feet and glassy. But I look back, and the wave coming at me was so monster, eh? I knew my eggs was headed for that big omelet in the sky. As I was choking underneath the water, I could think of only one thing, eh? And then her, Mahane. Fate Yanagi, head cheerleader for Tata Memorial High School, and Secretary Treasure for a Sweet Sour Inspirations. I help them with the Huli Huli plant sale, you know. My heart drops for her. And in a foaming, merciless sea, I called out to her. Tell Fate Yanagi, I love her. Tell Fate Yanagi, I need her. Tell Fate Yanagi, no go cry. And no go out with Mitsu Night. just about as much as I do. <laughs> what was we talking about, huh? Mm. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, the local people, eh? Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing about the local people, I notice, whatever we do, the thing come out different, eh? I notice on TV lately, a lot of plenty local people now on top of television, yeah, doing commercials, a lot of that. Funny thing though, the commercials to me will make sense. Looking for a car? Perhaps an automobile? Well, anyway, you look at it, you came to the right place. Take a look at this new Cherry 1973 Huevo Ranchero. The sucker's loaded. Tinted engine, power floors, steam vents. Bruh, we even get good tires on top of this car. <laughs> you wanna talk upholstery? Let's talk upholstery. Yes, sir. Let's take a look inside this car over here. Take a look at that upholstery. A number one, top shape. Come on down. We open Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 9 to 9, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 8 to 4, Sundays, 5 to 8. On holidays, we open 10 to 10. I tell you what, you just come on down. We open, we stay. You don't come down, we don't stay, we're not here. Okay, okay. We got the best used cars in town. I can tell you that automatic. And we got the best service in town. Look at the sign. Best service in town. Ask anybody about a car from us. They're going to tell you we got the best service in town. We got the best service in town. Anybody. I can tell you that, so you know it bugs me. We have to be nice to you, but you guys don't have to be nice to us. 
You can walk in it like you wanna join that we'll play King Stone plays Elf Body Boy. No window shopping over here. I got a family to support. I get bills. I don't need no jokers coming in telling me. This car's too old. I don't like the color red. I think about to call you back tomorrow. Boo! But if you're serious about buying a new or a used car, then you better come on down right over here to Murdy Murdoch Used Cars. We got the best cars in town. Murdy Murdoch's Used Cars, right by the Alawai, where the canal meets the sea. Eh? Drop in soon. We think our soda is the finest on the market today. And what's the best way to prove it? We just asked the average person on the street. Ah, sir, can we talk with you for a moment, please? Well, I don't know. I gotta go catch boss Pololo housing to me. Sir, minute. sir, this won't take too long. What's your name, please? Uh, James Kilpatrick Mulhaney Montague Del Rio Okada Jr. the third. Mr. Okada, would you have a seat over here, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. This seat over here, this seat over uh, there. This seat is fine, Mr. This seat, Okada. This one is good. Yeah, have a I seat. I like that seat over have there. Have a seat right over here. This one is fine. Okay. Have a seat, Mr. Okada. Sure. Mr. Okada doesn't know it, but we're about to participate in a secret taste test. Oh, what is this? What secret taste test? Mr. Okada, <laughs> Mr. Okada, what we want you to do first of all, Mr. Okada, <laughs> yeah, okay. Mr. Okada, first of all, we want you to take a sip from Soda X. Okay, Soda X. Uh, so, soda X. Soda X. That's okay. the one. Shoot. Okay. Okay, now, Mr. Okada, take a cracker. Take a cracker? No, no, uh, eat, eat a cracker, Mr. Yeah. Okada. Eat a cracker. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Now, Mr. Okada, what I'd like you to do is to... Mm -hmm. Take a sip from soda A. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, sip, <laughs> sip, Mr. Okada. Just get your. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, you've tasted them both. Now, Mr. Okada, which do you like better, soda A or soda X? Well, I don't know about. Uh, I, I, I'm not too hot on soda, so I say uh, soda X. Soda X. <laughs> Mr. Okada, let's try it again, shall we? Mm. Okay. Uh, take another sip from soda X, please. Mm -hmm. well, I Okay, I'll take another cracker. Sure. Okay. Now take a sip from soda A. Take a sip from soda A, Mr. Okada. Just take another sip from take another sip from soda A. Okay. Yeah. Uh -uh. Take a take a sip. Just sip the just the soda, Mr. Okada. Uh -uh. Just sip the soda, please. Soda A. <sighs> That's good, Mr. Okada. Okay. Now, Mr. Okada, which soda do you prefer? Um, I I like the cracker. No, no. Never mind the cracker, Mr. Okada. Which which soda do you prefer? Soda X. You mean soda A? Soda X. A. Mm, mm, okay, mm. there you have it, folks. Proof positive. Mr. Okada likes soda A. And so will you, ladies and gentlemen. The soda preferred by more people. Mr. Okada, who prefers soda? Mr. Okada. Mr. Okada. Mr. Okada? For a cracker. No, you don't want crackers. You don't like crackers. You like soda A, okay? I love crackers. You, you don't want crackers. You don't want crackers. I love crackers. Mr. Okada, you don't want crackers. Mr. Okada, put the crackers down. Mr. Okada, you don't want crackers. You don't want crackers, Mr. Okada! A political message on behalf of candidate Willie Monowilly. Willie is a man with a vision. He respects Hawaii's beautiful beaches and oceans, and he's willing to look into their problems in depth. Now, more than ever, Hawaii's housing needs are a serious problem, and Willie takes the time to be part of that problem. Willie Mono Willie, how you doing? Working hard, I see. Huh? Thank you. What is this? Huh? Open house? <laughs> Yes, it's good to know that Willie's got a close eye on Hawaii's highways, and he's searching for answers to island traffic problems through a stronger emphasis on mass transportation. And now, a word from your favorite son, Willie Mona Willie. Today is not tomorrow, or yesterday, or the day after. It's now. And now is what today is all about. Aloha, hello. I'm Willie Mona Willie, 
independent Republican candidate for representative. I got problems, <laughs> just like anybody else. Taxes, inflation, deflation, exflation, unemployment, and there's a lot of people out of work. <laughs> and they're raising the price of everything. They're raising the price of food. They're raising the price of gas. They're raising the price of this. They're raising the price of that. Don't they know? When you raise the prices, the cost goes up. All these problems add up to a lot of uncertainties that we, as the people of Hawaii, are uncertain of. I'm certain of that. Here, let me demonstrate. Let's say this is a man. One man, alone, by himself, cannot get a job done, but with help from his fellow men working together, we can make things happen. So come on, work with me, Willy Mana Willy, and vote for me for representative, okay? And let's work together. Give your help to Willy Mana Willy, independent Republican candidate for representative, because he needs all the help he can get. And remember, no be silly, vote Willy. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> oh, you try it because in a little bit I'm going to introduce you to a good friend of mine who is his big star on top of the Hawaii TV. Like that. <laughs> so you try it, I'm going to introduce you to Ante Maria Lane. <laughs> <laughs> chuck come, chuck come, because uh, I'm going to introduce you to a good friend of mine, Ente Maria Lani. She's this big celebrity star like that, because she get her own television TV cooking show. <laughs> she don't cook the TV, she cook the food on top of the TV. Come here. Look at this. Time now for Auntie Maria Lani's cooking show. Aloha kako, aloha kakahiaka. Welcome to Auntie Maria Lani's cooking show. I'm Auntie Maria Lani. This is my cooking show. I'm going to show you how to cook. You know my name is Auntie Maria Lani. That's how come I made up the name, you know. Auntie Maria Lani's cooking show. Clever, yeah? <laughs> What we going to cook today, Auntie Maria Lani, you going to ask as well, you may? Well, we have a little change in the program this morning. We're going 86 the anchovy waffles with hot mayonnaise because I'm going to show you how to cook a very, very special dish. I'm going to show you how to cook turkey using chicken. Okay, so take out the pencil and the papers and get ready to write down these ingredients. Remember now, don't substitute what I tell you, otherwise the thing going to become all hammer jang. So take out the pencil and the papers, go write down the first ingredient. And the first ingredient is, of course, chicken. Go write them down. Chicken. 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 Good. Now we have another thing we need, and that is... A pan, go right down, p and p and pan, good. And a very important ingredient, wine. Go right down, wine, go right down, empty wait for you, go right down, wine, go right down, go. Wine, wine, wine. Okay, now we ready to get cooking, so. What do we do first? We have to prepare all of our ingredients. So what we have to do right now is we have to make sure everything is all fresh and ready to get cooked. So take out the chicken and you guys go check the chicken with ente to make sure that chicken is fresh. Go check your chicken with ente. Go check your chicken now. Go check them now. Go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Chicken is fresh, mm-hmm. And the wine, you know, must be special. The wine must be not too sweet, 
not too rancid, but just right, you know. We have a red wine over here. Let us see. Bojokok Palabarao. Bojole Pak Bojoke La Get our red kanya. You must make sure this wine is not too sweet, not too rancid, but just right, okay? So go check the wine with Ente. Go check your wine now. Go check them now. Go check them now. Go. Ooh, fragrant bouquet. Try with Ente. Lost that taste. <laughs> One more time. Oh, flamboyantly nondescript. A light-hearted wine with a morose attitude. Subtle yet annoying. <sighs> Not too sweet. <sighs> Not too rancid. Just right. Okay. Now we ready to begin cooking. So let's start. Where do we start? At the beginning. And the beginning is to tenderize that chicken. How do we tenderize that chicken? You're going to ask Auntie. I'm going to tell you how we tenderize that chicken by gently massaging its back. Left, right, up down massage your chicken remember while you tenderizing your chicken now you have to make sure that the wine is not too sweet go check up go go check up not too sweet go ah not too rancid the wine must be just right eh? so go check up go it's important go go go, go check up it's important Okay, suckers, perps. Now, what we have to do now is, you know, the thing about the chicken is you can tell if the chicken is tender because it's the bacon of his stand. Oh, tender. <laughs> okay, just remember, even though the chicken is tender, the wine got to remain not too sweet. Not too chicken. But just that. Okay, now what we got to do is season our chicken. Put them in our pan and let's go get the seasoning. First of all, we got the season with peppercorn. So take the peppercorn and go season. Oh, bugger stuck. Oh, there he is. Peppercorn. Write them down. Peppercorn. Okay, now we got over here oregano. It's oregano. You got to know, you know, oregano comes from Oregon. Yeah. Oh, the him. The him. Okay, and top it off with. The wine which must remember now um, not too sweet. <coughs> no, too acid, but it's soda and our bugger is okay. Now let's get on going. Okay, here yeah, baby, take a hit, gonna be hot, you know. Okay, and our chicken is ready to get cooked. That you can tell the chicken is ready to get cooked. Oh, no cook me, I'll go run away from you. <laughs> oh, remember now when you cook your chicken, you have to cook the chicken at 850 degrees for one minute or five degrees for four days. Okay, okay, so let's go cook that chicken. Okay, let's cook that chicken. So come with me to the oven and we go cook that chicken. Go cook them. Okay, the chicken is cooking at 850 degrees. So Time for smoke break. Okay. Oh, it's my cigarette. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Remember now, the chicken is cooking at 850 degrees. So you gotta make sure now you gotta wait one, one minute for a chicken to come cook. Eh? Okay, perfect. Okay, I think that chicken is about cooking. What you think? I think it is dollar bed is. Eh? <laughs> okay, let's go check the chicken to make sure that chicken is fresh over here. Okay, doggy baby. Whoa. Mm. Take a look at this. The chicken is perfect. Unreal. Take a look at this chicken. Mm. Look at this chicken. Oh, look tender, appetizing. This is the Panaman Real Lamps. This is the Anime Real Lamps cooking show. And just remember, cook.
Go, 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 okay, okay, aloha and good cooking. Join us again next time for Cooking with Auntie Maria Lani. Machine, I tell. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, but you know, the machinery these days, humbug. Out of control, all this machinery. Everything coming so mechanicalized these days. Eh? I wouldn't be surprised in the future. Machine this, machine that, Christmas machine chicken, machine people. Eh? You watch, you watch. Later on, you go see one show, you sit down, what? Mechanical uh, entertainment? <laughs> like what, what? Comedy robot? <sighs> Folks, put your digital relays together now for one funny guy. Hi, ACs and DCs. My name is Alex, 34, Cyber System Computer Data Analyzer, 973. But all my friends call me I just transported myself from Quadrant 5 on the Nova Constellation, and boy, are my laser meters tired. <laughs> Take my dikilogram module, please. Interrogative, interrogative. Why did the biplasmic retroprocessor cross the Galactic Avenue to get to the Converse Axiom? <laughs> By the way, how many of you have had a hydraulic bypass? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I bet that put a kink in your ground wire. <laughs> hey, what transpires when you integrate a spectral microprocessor with a debilitating crouton? You get polarized electrons that stick to the roof of your ingestion orifice. Let's <laughs> 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 driven and habitates a solenoid complex. I don't know either, but there's one going on your processing board. This here prop actuator walks into a bar and says, hey, give me a liquefied V25. Bartender says, want that scanned, want that aspirated? Aspirated, he says, and make it a double. I got a heavy mobilization tonight, and boy, is she sequence. <laughs> I got a million, I got a million. Well, it's time to phase. Before I regenerate my alternative systems, let me relay a final piece of input. Never take a wooden prosthesis. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Thank you. Thank you. So what? You guys still here? <laughs> so you're beginning to understand us local folks a little bit more, what? Eh? Yeah, I know sometimes us local folks are hard to understand, but I'll tell you one secret. Me, I don't understand the folk come over here, visit over here. Funny kind of talk. <laughs> Mitsu, Mitsu Yoshi. Mitsu Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshimura. Thank you. Hi. Murakami, 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 Murakami. Kamikawa Kawamatsu. Matsutaka. Takahashi Hashimoto Mikimasu. Masumoto Motoka. Okafune. Funashige. Shigeyasu. Yasutake. Takamine. Minahira. Hirayama. Yamanaka. Nakashima, Shimakuro, Kurosato, Satogata. Oh, got to go now. Yeah, all a funny kind of sound, I tell you. It is something else with all these different people talking all these different languages. It is a miracle we can understand each other. <laughs> and then you go down Waikiki, and then you go look at the tourists. Trying to talk to the local. Oh, we no hoe. I tell you, even more mix them up. Sometimes, come on, so good.
Uh, room service, please. Go see it on why your hoods was so housekeeping. Oh no no, try wait, try wait. You punk, throw me off. Ah, room service. Can I help you? Uh, this is Mr. Fogarty in room 1225. I'd like to order some dinner. Huh? Uh, this is Mr. Fogarty. I'd like to have my dinner sent up to my room 1225. And uh, what was your room number? 1225. Uh, one more time, please. 1225. 1225? Oh. That's a Mr. Frog Fogarty. 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 Can I help you, Mr. Frogtree? Can't find it! Russell, cool it, cool it, try for thing! <sighs> now, wait, wait, wait. I'd like to order some dinner and have it sent up to my room, please. And what room was that? Room 1225. Uh, this is Mr. Fogarty. I'd like to have my dinner sent up to my room 1225. Okie dokie. And what would you like? I'd like a cheeseburger deluxe, french fries, and a chocolate malt. Okay, so that's a cheeseburger deluxe, french fries, and a choc chowicha. Hey, Russell, you get pen. What? Pen. Yeah, in my pen. head. Pen. Pen. Out loud. Pen. Yeah. Out loud. pen. Yeah, pen. Gone fun it. <sighs> okay, now, so that's what? A cheeseburger deluxe, french fries, and a thick chocolate malt. Cheese? Burger the deluxe. Uh, excuse me, uh, but you want the the hamburger deluxe with cheese on that top? Of, uh, wait, 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 wait. You want now the hamburger deluxe with cheese on the top, or one cheeseburger deluxe? A cheeseburger deluxe. Okay. And would you like that with or without cheese? With. What? Cheese. Cheese. Oh, why you never say that in the first place? One side or the cheese? No. Oh, wow. Hey, Russell, this bugger giving me heat. Hey, go slap his head. No, get up tight, sir. I was just trying to take your order. Look, a cheeseburger deluxe, french fries, and a thick chocolate. No, go so freaking fast. Cool your jets. What you think this is? Automation. I'd like a cheese. I get them already. I get them already. And what else? Uh, french fries and a chocolate Oh, oh, oh. Chow it, chow it, chow it. We get special today, you know. What is it? Oh, no, 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 no. I think we get two kinds. Two kinds we get, yeah. What are they? Uh, number one is Pico's Pig's Feet with Spanish rice on mashed potatoes. Your choice of dressing on top of the fruit cup and bread or toast. Hey, Mento! Oh, not you, sir. <laughs> What's Russell? What you gonna cook for number two special? Nothing! Huh? Nothing! You gonna get him, man. You wait till I tell a supervisor. Oh, that's it, sir. Only that one. Uh, I prefer my original order. Oh, and what was that? Cheeseburger, french fries, chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. You sure you know like the Pico's pig feet, huh? Yes, yes. Oh, no, you know. Thank you. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Really? Positive? You sure, you sure? You still on the phone? Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, I was just checking, yeah? So let me repeat that order one more time, yeah? Hello? I wish you would. Okay. That was one cheeseburger deluxe with a side of the cheese, french fries, and a chocolate malt. Is that right? Hello? <laughs> oh, Russell! Come on, Russell! Oh, Russell, come on! Stop that, Russell! Come funny, you do that again, I'm going to cover your eyelash! Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that guy was Russell. What a pets! <laughs> so where were we? Hello, hello. <sighs> Tourists. <laughs> That's why hard, eh? <laughs> but we try for help the visitors when they come over this island over here. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you look around, you're going to see plenty local people make a living out of helping our tourists out. And sometimes that job, eh, very, very, very hard. This big old bus is hot. My two front tires are shot. Everybody's bugging me to make a stop at the glow hole. They all look the same to me. Wearing plastic lays, aloha shirts, Bermudas, and bony knees. I got a tour group in from Nevada. I wouldn't be here. 
here unless I had to I greet them, I lay them, I say come follow me I'm your hookah shell tour guy And my name is Kimo, I'll be showing you around the town I'm your hookah shell tour guy I'm your information center <laughs> But everybody's yelling at me Cause they all got sunburned Their bags all weigh a ton I'm busting my buns While they're having all the fun But I'm the man that keeps things going Yes, I'm the man that keeps on showing That the spirit of Aloha is alive and well, real swell. I'm a Puka Shell tour guy. Driving into the sunset, people I don't even know. I'm a Puka Shell tour guy. Bussing camera tour. Now you understand what I'm talking about, eh? <laughs> That's the whole way in Hawaii. You get all mixed up my kind people you're not gonna find nowhere else in the universe, not even the world. <laughs> you mix them all up and something magic happened. The Aloha spirit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. That's okay, but you remember next time you come visit, rest your while, all like that. <laughs> You know, dropping by, listening to this old man talk, talk, make me happy. <laughs> you learned something about this Hawaiian living now, eh? Because if you did it, we get what's saying over here in Hawaii. Tough lao lao. <laughs> oh, aloha, aloha. <laughs>